Hello, my name is Bob Evans, and today I'm going to give you a quick review on flood defence walls. Flooding is becoming more of an issue with climate change. The images shown on this slide show you the problem that a customer had. We will go through the case study in a minute. First of all, let's look at the design issues. A flood defence wall will fail in the standard retaining wall failure modes, overturning, slippage, shear but they can also fail from seepage and piping. Seepage is water slowly getting under the wall to the dry side and piping is when the flow is faster. The amount of seepage will depend on the soil porosity. Gravel sand soil will have a high porosity and clay type soil will have a slow porosity. We prefer to use hollow block step up walls for flood defence. The cavity concrete seals the block joints and connects the wall to the foundation for the cantilever design. The walls are constructed dry and can be built using a local contractor with some guidance. You can see the foundation downstand. This is to help slow down seepage. You can learn more about Stepock retaining walls on the Stepock page on the website. Back to the case study. On this slide you can see the topographical survey. We use the survey to work out the wall heights and lengths, then draw them up into a schedule. This slide shows a 3D sketch of the wall surrounding the house. This slide shows another example of a flood defence wall for a substation. The question everybody wants to know is how much does a retaining wall cost? To answer this question we have created a retaining wall design and price guide. The guide details all the retaining walls on the website, provides a design guide to allow you to cost out the wall yourself, or you can use our cost table that we have developed. You can use the table to calculate a budget for your project. You can also compare the cost of different wall types. We have a three-step process to support you with your retaining wall project. Step one, help you select the right solution for your requirements and budget. Step two, design a solution for your site and soil requirements. Step three, prepare material schedules to obtain competitive prices using our supply chain. The next step is to ask us questions and tell us about your project. We can then support you deliver it and probably save you some money. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.